You're going to need this message. Maybe not today, but you're going to need it next year sometime. The lesson is that you're going to be at times and seasons of your life when you want to quit. Don't quit. Don't stop. Don't turn around. Don't fail. He's telling them, keep going. Keep pushing. Keep pressing. Yeah, you're going to have troubles. Yes, stuff is going to be difficult. Yes, you're going to be criticized, talked about. People, they don't understand the decisions that you make. Yes, there's going to be some stuff you're going to ask God for. He ain't going to give you. But don't quit. Aggressively fight. Say it again. Aggressively fight. Aggressively fight. Say it again. Aggressively fight. Here's what God is tired of. God is tired of timid, weak back, jelly backbone Christians. We are not people that God has called us to sit back and let people walk over us and treat us like dirt. There comes a time that you've got to have some fortitude and some guts and some might and some power and you got to stand up and you got to learn how to aggressively fight. Somebody say fight aggressively. Because here's the reality of the fact that anything worth having in life requires fighting for. But let me tell you something, if you're going to achieve and accomplish what God has for you to achieve and accomplish, you are going to have to fight. You, you see, too many people are just waiting for stuff to just be handed to them on a silver platter. But for you to get where God wants you to get and to do what God has called you to do and to achieve the things that God has called for you to achieve, you are going to have to fight. And sometimes the odds can be against you, saints. And sometimes in life, the odds are against you winning. The odds are against you getting healed from the cancer. The odds are against you getting married based on how old you are. The odds are against you getting promoted. But I like being in a situation when the odds are against me. Because when the odds are against you, you are a candidate for God to step up on your side. We serve a God that loves to be on the side of the underdog. He likes to be with people that other folks have counted out and says you can't do it. You'll never achieve it. You'll never be anything. God likes to help people who other folks have counted out. You don't be surprised when you got drama on every side. Drama at home. Drama on your job. Drama on your neighbors. Drama at church. Don't be surprised. Anticipate a fight. Don't moan. Don't cry. Don't complain expect the battle expect and anticipate don't be shocked or surprised as a matter of fact when they come up against you be prepared and instead of crying and moping and talking about somebody don't like me shut up stop about just shut up stop complaining when they come up against you when everything is coming against you instead of crying get ready to fight say come on I was waiting for you. and the reality of the fact is we are engaged in a war. This is a war. We are in a war. We're at war. It's a battle. It's a battle that you're engaged in. And the problem is, most people are losing at the battle. And there's some of you here today, your future, what your future holds, the odds might be against you. It might be against you getting married. Maybe you, you think the odds are against you getting married. Or maybe... The odds might be against you starting your business. The odds might be against your marriage surviving. It might be against your body being healed. The doctors may have said you can't make it. The odds might be against you. But here's what I've come to learn. If God be for you, who can be against you? If God is on your side, who can be against you? I done fought too many fights in my life to quit now. I done come through too much to stop now. Amen. As a matter of fact, I learned, here's an important thing, that my past battles prepared me for my present battles. What I went through last year and what you went through two years ago was God's design to prepare you for the battle that you're about to go through today. Because in order for you to get to your destiny and get to the promised land that God has for you, there's certain things you're going to have to conquer in your life. Yeah, the devil wants you to think you'll never get to victory. But when you have a relationship with Jesus, everything that once defeated you, now God gives you the power to get the, the victory over. Y'all not listening to what I'm saying. The stuff that used to defeat you and beat you up before, 
now that you have Jesus in your life now that he's the master over your life it can no longer hold you down or hold you back I don't know who I'm preaching to but there's some souls here today you're not gonna win without Jesus you're not gonna be victorious without him in your life no need of you running and dodging and keeping away from the Lord you need Jesus in your life you want to ignore it but every day it shows up you want to act like it ain't what it is but every day it's going to show up you can close your eyes plug your ears up but there are some realities that just keep showing up and the bottom line is that avoiding it does not make it go away i don't know who i can preach to but i hope you get this some things don't get better with time some things only get better with direct confrontation there's some things you can't close your eyes to you can't run and hide you can't turn your tv off and think that it's just going to get better by itself no there's some challenges we face that show up every day and the only way to deal with it is that you got to be aggressive you can't sit back and wait for something to happen you got to have a mindset to say i'm going after i'm going to fight for what it is i'm going to fight for my destiny i'm going to fight for my name i'm going to fight for my job i'm going to fight for my marriage i'm going to fight for my children i'm going to fight for my anointing i'm going to fight to win my soul win souls to jesus i'm going to fight to do what it is christ has assigned to my hands to do and i'm here to tell you be a you got to learn how to encourage yourself there comes a season and a time in life when you got to start talking to yourself you see you can't keep depending on other people to encourage you they got their own drama that they're going through they got their own problems they you can't encourage you can't depend on other folks because they don't always understand what you're going through you can't depend on other folks because sometimes they don't know what to say or what to do I learned to stop depending on other folk to encourage me I've learned how to encourage myself what do you mean pastor I mean I got to start talking to myself I got to start telling myself it's gonna be all right you got to start telling yourself that God didn't bring you through all the hell that you've already been through to leave you right here but everybody in here got a pass everybody in here have been through something that nobody but God brought you through and he didn't bring you through all of that for you to crash and burn right here so you better learn how to encourage yourself go ahead and tell yourself I better learn how to encourage myself you better stop speaking words of defeat and failure to yourself you better stop stop declaring that you lost you better start declaring yourself a winner you better start telling yourself I'm up and not down you tell yourself Isaiah 54 no weapon formed against me shall prosper tell yourself Deuteronomy 28 I am the head and not the tail <laughs> tell yourself Psalm 18 the Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer tell yourself Psalm 20 some trust in chariots and some trust in horses but we will remember the name of the Lord tell yourself Romans 8 37 we are more than conquerors through him that loved us tell yourself I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me tell yourself Job 13 though he slay me yet will I trust in him tell yourself Psalm 27 the Lord is my light and my salvation whom shall I fear the Lord is the strength of my life of whom shall I be afraid when the wicked came against me to eat up my flesh my enemies and foes they stumbled and fell though an army man camp against me my heart shall not fear though war may rise against me in this will I be confident one thing have I desired of the Lord encourage yourself talk to yourself sing to yourself do whatever you have to do to keep on pushing keep on running don't stop now
You've come too far to stop now. You've been through too much to stop now.